Hello guys, welcome back to Easy Bio. So today's video is going to be the first part about enzymes. But first, let's do a recap from my previous video, proteins. Enzymes are proteins, and proteins are made up of hundreds and hundreds of amino acids. Arranging the amino acids in different ways make different types of proteins. These are just a few types of proteins, structural, hormonal, antibodies, receptors, and enzymes. You can remember them by the word share. So that's the end of the recap. To learn more, check out my video proteins, which I will leave in the description box down below. Okay, so we know that enzymes are proteins, but what exactly do they do? Enzymes are biological catalysts. A catalyst is something that speeds up reactions. So enzymes basically just speed up reactions in our bodies. I say just, but enzymes are actually really, really important. The main reason why they're important is because of speed. Enzymes are so important because they can speed up all your cellular reactions. If, 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 if enzymes didn't do that, you would die. Take this for example. Inside your liver, hydrogen peroxide can be broken down into oxygen and water really quickly because of an enzyme called catalase. If that didn't happen, your cell would end up being poisoned because hydrogen peroxide is quite poisonous. So now you understand exactly how important enzymes are. But how do they do these reactions? Well, Right now, what you need to know is that enzymes can speed up reactions by providing a better place for the reactants to meet. One really, really cool fact about enzymes is that through all their reactions, they are not changed and so they can be reused. Substrates. What are substrates? Well, remember reactants? When talking about enzymes, we call them substrates. They are basically the substance the enzyme acts on to make a product. A product is the end result of an enzyme reaction. The following picture shows the substrate binding to the active site to form something called an enzyme substrate complex. The enzyme then splits the substrate to form separate products. For example, catalase. The enzyme I spoke about before breaks down hydrogen peroxide, the substrate, into oxygen and water, the products. The diagram might give you a better idea of what I'm talking about as well. Okay, let's talk about enzyme structure, because enzyme structure is the key to an enzyme's function. So if you remember from my proteins video, proteins are made of amino acids and then folded into a 3D shape, which determines their function. Well, the same also applies to enzymes, because they're proteins. Now, let's take an even closer look at how enzymes speed up reactions. Enzyme activity. So, enzymes have something called active sites. The active sites are basically where the substrates attach to the enzyme. If you look at the diagram, you will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Before we advance any further, let me explain what activation energy is. Activation energy is the minimum energy required for a reaction to occur, and enzymes are really, really important when it comes to activation energy. Remember how enzymes speed up reactions by providing a better environment for reactants to meet in? Well, what I actually meant was that enzymes lower the activation energy required for a reaction to occur, which then speeds up the reaction as there isn't a lot of energy needed for the reaction to happen anymore. There is a lot more activation energy, and if you want to learn more about it, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go check that out. Sometimes the substrate is broken down into many products, like the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. This is called degradation. A way to remember this is that degradation sounds like degrade, and if you are to degrade someone or something, you are breaking them down, like the enzyme. Other times, multiple substrates can be joined to make a product, like a jigsaw puzzle. This is called a synthesis reaction. Remember, there is no change to the enzymes in these reactions. Okay, 
Now let's talk about something I am sure you've noticed if you've been paying attention to the diagrams. Enzymes are extremely unique and there are various different types. Pepsin, for example, which is found in your stomach, amylase, and of course, catalase. The different types of enzymes all have to speed up different types of reactions. For example, whilst catalase speeds up the degradation of hydrogen peroxide, pepsin catalyzes the degradation of proteins in your food. So if they speed up different reactions, then their substrate will have to be different too. In pepsin's case, the substrate is protein. This works by every enzyme having a different and specific active site to their specific substrate, kind of like a jigsaw or a lock and key. The substrate fits into the active site of a specific enzyme only. This way, we don't have pepsin doing catalase's job. This picture demonstrates that perfectly. Enzyme 1's active site is shaped like a circle and is the right shape for its circular shaped substrates. We call this complementary. The shape of the active site is complementary to the shape of the substrate. And that's it for this video. The next video will be about enzyme function and conditions, the environment enzymes work best in. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Bye.